You don't seem surprised that we found your fingerprints all over that note in Lark Madison's backpack. I don't care if you found my prints. I didn't write that note. There are dozens of notepads lying around the nurse's station. It's not surprising that I may have picked one up. I had a handwriting expert compare the note to a letter from you we found in your father's things. It was a match. I didn't do anything. Get your hands on the car. Well, at least tell me what's going on. Well, you and your drug dealer. This guy's a dealer? I just pulled over to ask for directions. Yeah, we got lost going to my girlfriend's house. There's nothing in the car. Nothing on them either. Can we go now? I really don't want my kid exposed to this. Yeah, the two of you can go. Oh, my God. I am so scared. I think I'm going to puke. Just get in the car. Now where in the hell am I going to get it? Doc, hi. Good heavens. You look as if you've aged ten years since I last saw you. He's right. What is it? What's wrong? There's been another murder. Oh, my goodness. Who? Dr. May. How did you know that? Just a lucky guess. I could use a better answer than lucky guess. didn't pull Dr. May's name out of a hat. What gave you that answer? It's just a stab in the dark. Don't give me that! The killer isn't following the pattern that you thought, Victor. Dr. May wasn't the fourth person to come to town in the book, and Jake wasn't the third. Now, how did you know that Dr. May was killed tonight? It, it just seemed very clear to me, Monk. Seemed very clear? Victor, your psychic powers must be much more powerful than mine, because I've been trying to see this clearly. I've been trying to pick up something, a, a clue or anything, and nothing's coming to me. I'm not in the mood for the bumbling detective routine, Victor. Now, give me a straight answer. There's no need to get testy, Monk. Anything that you know about this can't be explained away with psychic visions and lucky guesses. Okay, all right, Doc. You know that brilliant minds tend to work in mysterious ways. I I'm sure Victor's not even sure of what he's really thinking half the time. I beg your Victor, pardon. you lied to me when you first told me about the picnic. Are you lying to me now about no, these murders? No, I Then where not. is it that you always disappear to? And how come you have such a knack for stumbling into crime scenes? Oh, am I going to be blamed now for having witnessed one of the murders? Don't you think it's odd that you're the only witness? And you're always coming up with charts and diagrams of, of suspects and motives and possible victims. What is that about? Monk, I'm just trying to help you. These murders are eating you alive. Now, now, he's put in so many hours and so much hard work trying to figure this out. I, I just hate for you to tell him to stop. Don't, don't tell him to call it quits, Doc. I'm just, I'm just trying to clear you of any suspicion. That's what this is all about. That, that's what we both want. We don't want to see you take the fall for some lunatic. Maybe too late for that. Why do you say that? Because I was the only one with Dr. May when she died. Dr. May helped save Serena's life, and when she collapsed, I couldn't do a thing. Well, I'm, I'm sure that you did everything you could. Dr. May was a good doctor. She helped a lot of people. She'd die anyway. We don't know. Listen, are you worried about Serena being here at GH with all these murders going yes, on? Yes, I'm worried, but this is the best hospital in the state. How's she doing? She's tough like you. Whereas I feel like I'm in the Atlantic Ocean out there waiting for someone to throw me a life vest. I just want to get this eye surgery done. I want to have her eyesight back. The worst thing in the world is just watching your child suffer. Chris. Dr. May's main goal was to help people. So she probably wanted her organs donated. Yeah, but we have no idea what organs were compromised by the cause of death. Well, but even if she was poisoned, her cornea should be fine. There's no blood flow to them, so they should be okay. Yeah? What do you have in mind? Serena needs a transplant. We well, should be able to get Dr. May's organ donor info off her driver's license. Just contact her family. Well, 
Because that's kind of a hard question to ask. If anybody's going to understand, it'll be Dr. May's family. I'll make the call. Oh. I have to figure out another way to get DL-56 now that my dealer was dumb enough to get himself busted. Go to your brother, Frank. Joe will help you. I can't ask Joe to get involved with giving me an unapproved medication. It could jeopardize everything that he's worked for. I mean, go to him to help you get off this stuff. I don't need to kick something that I am not addicted to. My body needs the drug to survive because of all the damage that happened falling off the building trying to save your butt. Try to show some gratitude. Look, I am grateful, Frank. You know, I don't want to see you get hurt. That's why I want you to stop taking this drug. Oh, oh this, this from the kid who stashed pot all over my house? Oh, look, I haven't done anything like that for a long time. I have learned my lesson. All you can think about is how much you need the DL-56. You know, isn't that addiction? Save the just say no lecture. Well, aren't you going to have to go to Joe now because you can't get the drug anymore? You let me worry about that. I'll handle it. Well, then there must be some mistake. My handwriting couldn't have matched that note. And will you stop trying to intimidate me with every scare tactic you dream up? You know, Julie, handwriting analysis is really a fascinating science. No matter how much you try to disguise your handwriting, all your little quirks still manage to turn up. What are you, Julie, right-handed? You see, the handwriting expert figures you try to disguise it by writing the note with your left hand. Am I getting close? I admit I wrote the note, uh, but I only did it after the killer had been identified. I never intended to interfere with the murder investigation. Besides, Lark tried to frame me th for the murder of my father because she said she saw me kill him. I felt like I had to do something to get her away from me again. That's all you've got to say for yourself? Uh, I am not proud of stooping to her level, but someone had to put the fear of God in her. So you send a death threat to a 17-year-old girl? Sending the note was a stupid thing to do. Yes, it was. But I wanted her out of my life. And I thought maybe this would make her take off again. And what if she didn't go, Julie, huh? What then? Were you planning to kill her, too? I haven't killed anyone. Why should I believe anything you say? You looked at me right in the eye and said you had nothing to do with that letter. What else are you lying to me about, doctor? What do you want, Garcia? I'm not up for any more harassment. Actually, I've got some good news for you, Frank. Well, I guess it will be more like uh, mixed news. Julie, would you like to do the honors? The police found out who sent you that threatening note. Well, at least the police are good for something. Does this mean they caught the killer? No, it doesn't. So who was it? It was me. You? You are some twisted piece of work. What in the hell is wrong with I you? I knew you hated me, but I never knew how much until now. You want me dead. I only wrote it after the police said the killer was dead. I wanted to scare you, but I never intended any more. You, you sent a teenager a death threat, and you thought it was what, a joke? I'm sorry. I was very angry oh, with you, Lars. This is beyond anger. You sorry. had this kid believing someone was out to kill her, and you think that you can fix it with one I'm sorry? What is wrong with you?